Hello, welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I hope you learn, but most of all, I hope you enjoy. Welcome everybody. Good morning, how are you all? Um, I was very inspired by Don Gregor and uh, Jilly Coop and Mark Gildy because they made uh, a black and white with um, with flowers in it, a floral, like a floral garden. And I am feeling inspired to do also such a thing, but I want to give it my own twist. So I am going to try to do that with fractals. And who knows, maybe I will do some blowing or um, swiping or balloon dips. I don't know yet. I just want to play. And I'm very sorry that I haven't been doing more videos. But I have been really, really busy with my new online store. Which is a good thing, of course, because we can really use a break. But I felt very sad that I was not able to paint. Because I really need that. It keeps me healthy. And it keeps me cheerful. And I really miss talking to you guys. So, I'm sorry. But I hope you forgive me. Okay, um, let me see. I'm first going to pour a little bit off. Of that white. Because it's on a little bit thick now. It's not necessary. And that way I can cover the sides. So how are you all doing? In our country, the COVID uh, rules are getting stricter and stricter because we, we had another outbreak again. Unfortunately, because I miss my grandson very, very much. I'm lucky because I can talk to him with Messenger. With my video on, but it's of course not the same. And I haven't seen him since February, so we're almost at a year now. And it's so sad, but it's just a risk I can't take because I'm... Uh, I have a heart condition, but I miss them so much, and my children, of course, and our friends, but well, it is the way it is. So, I was wondering how are you going to spend your Christmas? Rob and I are just going to be with the two of us, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, about painting, the paint that I used for the black and white, and I will put all of this in the description box too. It's just normal acrylic paint mixed with floetrol and water. So that is what you use for the base. Uh, the color paints I have, that's all mixed with primary elements pigments with the vivid polypore uh, and the vivid art fluid extender i will put also i put it all on in the description box for you the colors also so you can all uh, read it And what we are going to try now is I'm going to put down some drops. And we hope that it will fractal and grow. So they look like little flowers. Mm. I'm drawing a line in here and let's hope 
that they will fractal like I chose to but if not they're pretty like this also and I'm going to use uh, greens so it looks like leaves everywhere and well I'm going to speed this up now because this will take quite a long time and that will be way too long for a video And if I am changing my technique, I will be back with talking and explain to you what I am doing.
So here we are for the close up. I think it became a little bit too busy. They were growing more than I expected, but I think it's cute. I'm sorry. This was a little blurry. And I will try to show you with my flesh on how it actually looks, all that sparkle. And the colors became a little bit past pastel. And that's of course because there's a lot of white underneath it. And my paint was pretty thin because the black and the white were as thin as uh, yeah, like a Dutch pour consistency. So maybe I should have left it a little bit thicker and then maybe the flowers wouldn't have grown so much. But I wanted to show you how you can make the pretty flower garden with the Vivid Polypore and the Art of Fluid. I think, I'm sorry, I think it's nice and it's pretty and it's different for a change. Just look at that colors, isn't that pretty? And I had fun. So I challenge you all, try something different sometimes. Just play with your paint. Oh, I'm so sorry that it's so hard to show you how pretty this all is. It's very hard for my phone to focus for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. As you can see, the colors show up much better on black than they are on white. But all in all, I think it's a cute little garden. So I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.